everybody, my name is Victoria and I am a new mom to a three month old girl. And one thing that no one said to me was, you may not experience any bonding with your baby and you might not feel really into it. And um, when I got this feeling, it was really new to me. I was actually surprised because I did IVF. So I was like signing up for all of this stuff. This isn't something that I was just like, oh, I'm pregnant, surprise. Like, no, I was like preparing myself for a very long time for this. And when the baby was finally here and my daughter was finally here, I wasn't really feeling it. And I was like, I'm not sure if there's something wrong with me or what. It was kind of weird. And so um, because I wasn't expecting that feeling, I instantly thought I'm a bad mom. There's something wrong with me. Um, nobody else I know is feeling this, but that actually isn't the case. Uh, I talk to a, more people that are not within my circle and they're like, no, it, sometimes it just takes a while for you to kind of get into the mode because this is so new. Um, and then also I was talking to like my husband about it and he was just like, he didn't really understand. So I'm like, okay, there has to definitely be something wrong with me. <laughs> so I'm here to tell you there's nothing wrong with you. Okay. First off, this whole experience is extremely overwhelming. Whatever you had expectations of what a mother, what you were going to be as a mother and how life was going to be is absolutely not what it is when the baby's actually here. You are thrown curveballs. Um, like for example, like in my previous video, I said something about, you know, sleep deprivation. I wasn't aware of this. I don't know why I, I researched, 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 researched. You were never going to be prepared for this experience. It's just something that you have to go through and you take the curveballs as they come. And for some reason I missed the video about sleep deprivation and not getting any sleep in the beginning. So in the beginning I'm like up every hour, every two hours and I'm literally overwhelmed because I still have to run a business. I still have to make sure I have dinner on the table uh, or try to have dinner on the table for my family. The house is a disaster, which gives me like major anxiety. It's a huge trigger for me. And then uh, not having things on a specific schedule is really hard for me too. If it's all out of control, that's another trigger for me. So it was so overwhelming. So I couldn't really sit there and really get the whole effect. And I'm like, that's just normal. That's normal. Listen, even if that, if you had all the money in the world, there's going to be, you know, you're not there, like really in the moment. You're thinking about what needs to happen, where I need to be, what needs to be done, like how am I going to organize this, how am I going to schedule this. So in the what I had to do is I had to kind of just take it one step at a time, take it one day at a time. And that's what my husband and I kept telling me. He said, okay, we're going to take it one day at a time. Don't think about future, what's going to happen in the future, what you're doing wrong, just take it right at this moment, what needs to happen. So um, that's kind of how I've been able to sort of get back into this, like now, now I'm able to bond with the baby and I feel way better because I'm not as overwhelmed. I'm taking it just one day at a time, taking it as it comes. Because if you think too far ahead, that's where the anxiety comes out, that's where the depression happens, that's where you're like, oh my god, I feel like I'm drowning and you can't really uh, stay in the moment. And so I had to keep telling myself to stay in the moment. Uh, second thing is, this is all new. So some people have like their parents to kind of help and walk them through this. I didn't really, I didn't have that. So I had to kind of do this, you know, this whole experience and kind of just take it one step and just be like, just stop. Okay, what's around me? What can I control? So. I had to first do, like for example, my baby, I had to realize, okay, there's three steps. Feed, burp, change. Feed, burp, change, that's it. So I kind of stayed with that, and then from that, I added on. So like if I had to do work um, while I'm, or, or I had to pump, for example. So while I'm feeding her, I'll pump with my one breast. Um, but I'll do one thing at a time and try not to overwhelm myself because it is new, it is overwhelming, um, you know, you kind of like for example also while you're changing your baby she will or he will have a blowout and then you don't have your outfit next to you so you have to dig through all of these clothes from like all your friends and family that's given you and just try to find like the one that's like from zero to three months or if she grew really fast three to six months and then you're like oh shoot i did not wash these or i didn't do you know so it's, it gets a little overwhelming 
So you're going to you're going to be able to overcome this. This is I promise you're going to overcome it. It's just take it one day at a time. And this is a new experience. It's new. Everybody's experience is completely different. So that's also another thing. Oh, and then what what might help you too? I joined a few groups online, mom groups online. In everything that you're going through, there's somebody in that group that's going through the exact same thing. So Google, not Google, uh, go on Facebook, search new moms. There's a group for everything. Uh, moms in their 30s, uh, moms in your state, wherever state you're in. There's an app called Peanut. You have to pay for it to really match with people, but you there's like uh, forums and you go in the forums and people are posting on there every single day of the challenges issues that they're dealing with, you will realize you are not alone. Um, so just branch outside your little circle. I know that it's really hard to do that sometimes, especially if you're doing it more like in person, but you could do it online and you will find a lot of moms going through, through, through the exact same thing. Third thing is your body's changing. So I almost had a freaking heart attack when I saw my body after giving birth because I had a crazy amount of stretch marks. My, I've never had this much belly fat in my life. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Give yourself some grace, okay? I wanted to literally go back into the gym ASAP, but then I, I kind of couldn't because I was working and I'm like, okay, do I work out or do I go to work? Do I work out or do I go to work? It's like one of those weird things. So take some time uh, to just give yourself some grace. I literally had to cover myself because I was embarrassed in my body and ugh, I hated it. And so right now, my, my, I still have obviously my stretch marks, but I'm not as embarrassed as I was before, but I'm back in the gym. It's been over three months, I'm back in the gym. I'll go, not as often. I was going five days a week before, but now I can only go about three. Um, so do that, you know, walk with your baby, try to, you know, do little exercises, stuff like that. Do not be too hard on yourself if you have to. Um, if you have to stop, your body's changing, so if you have to cover yourself for a few months, just don't be hard on yourself with it. You're going to start getting better. Your body's gonna start getting better. Just try not to look at it if it bothers you that much. That's what I did, and then I just went to the gym when I could, and my body's starting to look a lot better. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> um, four, you are exhausted. So if you had the experience like I did where you're getting up every hour, you're freaking exhausted, and when you lack, um, when you're having sleep deprivation, you're lacking sleep, literally everything's a freaking trigger and you are like a moment from like losing, losing it because you've only had like four hours of sleep in that, in those four hours, you're half awake with like one eye open. Cause you're like, Oh my God, what happens if something, if this happens to my baby or that happens to my baby after three months, I'm telling you, you're going to feel a lot better. Um, about this new experience because you you know what to expect now. You know what's gonna happen if the baby gets up and she's crying You know, she's freaking hungry or you know, he's hungry uh, If he gets up and he has a blowout, you know where the clothes are, you know, it's not the end of the world <laughs> You'll be fine <laughs> So you're just you're tired. You need some sleep if you can the, just take a moment have somebody come over I had neighbors even say hey Victoria if you need time to like literally go to sleep You need me to watch the baby just call me. I will come. Just call. That's the awesome thing about being close with your neighbors, <laughs> especially elderly neighbors are phenomenal because uh, they understand. They get it. They totally get it. I had people coming over, bringing me food, uh, making blankets for me, uh, for the baby. I mean, it was fantastic. The community that I was able to develop, it was amazing. Um, also, uh, you're probably feeling like a bad mom and you're not bonding because the weight of the responsibility as a like so my baby does not want to she wants to be on me like all the time and it's really hard uh because you don't get a moment to just kind of take a moment to yourself <laughs> and you're like oh my gosh like while I'm sleeping, if, if it's seven hours or eight hours, she's literally in my arms or on my chest, like, and I'm literally waking up probably every 30 minutes to see, okay, is she breathing? Is she faced up? Okay, did she didn't turn? Okay, I'm not rolled over on her. Um, you know, so I'm always checking on that all the time. And like, I'm like, okay, is she 
eating enough? Do I have enough milk? Okay, did I eat enough protein today? Did I take my vitamins, my supplements? Am I, am I showing her too much television? Like you would drive yourself crazy thinking about the responsibility. So it's okay, she's a baby. Just let it go. That's what I had to do is let it go, be in the moment, do what you can. You're a good mom. The fact that you're even thinking about, you know, am I a good mom? Okay, I'm not really bonding that well. I'm telling you, it's gonna be okay. Just think about the moment, you know, the fact that you even care about this means that you're a great mom and you're going to do a good job. But these are the things that I had to deal with. These are, I had to really sit down and think, okay, why am I feeling this way? And I'm feeling this way because I'm overwhelmed. This is new. It's a new responsibility. My body's changing. And I'm thinking like, what the heck is going on with my body? Everything is just, it's overwhelming. So just take the moment to sit there, give yourself some grace take some time you're going to figure out I promise you're going to figure it out okay and find a community if it's online or if it's your neighbors I talk to my neighbors I walk around talk to them get to know them uh, you know if they're going through stuff I, I come and see them you know so that always it, it always comes back to you being there for someone else always comes back to you because people are like randomly wanting to give me food and wanting to help me during this process and it was so it made me feel like I wasn't alone and that's what this whole YouTube experience is about is just so that you guys know that you're not alone you're not the only one that's had to deal with this and um, but I hope that this video helped you guys <sighs> It was, it, I mean, I went on YouTube searching like crazy when I was going through uh, this whole new mom experience and a lot of moms out there helped me. And so I'm out here giving it back and helping you guys. So I hope this video helped. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.